everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing a client session. I'm going to go ahead and read the goals here and get started. Okay. I would like to receive energy healing for my chakras. All chakras are one chakra. It would be nice to know what my chakra balance looks like. Okay. Hmm. Something feels, it feels sad, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to relax and let's see what we discover here, okay? Something feels sad and unresolved. Okay. It has a lot to do with your heart. I mean, it has a lot to do with all chakras, but your heart is really a prominent one here. And I just see a little boy and he's reading a story. And we're kind of in a cave-like setting, but we're in a layer upon a layer upon a layer upon a layer upon a layer of duplications, like we're stuck in an echo. And he's patient, he's peaceful. I'm trying to get him to look up and see me, but I'm not sure why he's, he's reading a book. It's quite a large book. He's sitting down. He's wearing a, trying to place his timeline. I mean, it could even be sometime in the 19th, you know, the 20th century. Maybe within the last 60 years. He has a nice outfit on, like a sweater and a collared shirt underneath. Um, he has a nice pants but they're they're shorts they go to his knees he's wearing longer white socks um, nice shoes like he's dressed for church he's primarily wearing gray colors the sweater has green dark green in it and I'm trying to get him to see me to acknowledge me but it's like the closer I get, it's almost like he's gripping the sides of this book even tighter. It's just really gripping the sides of this book and he won't acknowledge me. He refuses to acknowledge that anybody is here but himself. I, I notice he's, uh, he's deeply contemplating almost silently inside of himself. And he's deciding that he can, he can do this all day. He could do this for the rest of his life. Avoid the presence that is here. The presence of love that is here. Or he can just relax and see what the presence of love has to say. It's like he's so angry at love. Like he he's so angry at it. Like, he, he's, I'm seeing another scene, okay? He's still sitting down with his book, but they're showing me yet another version of the same where he's standing up and he shuts the book really hard and he starts, like, whacking it against what is a really gorgeous, it's like a Mother Mary um, figure. And she's wearing primarily, like, an ivory white um colors and it's like draping cloth and it's really beautiful and she has flowers in this draping um ivory colored cloth it's very silky um if it, the the image itself is very silky looking very beautiful very feminine very mother mary type vibe here and he's just so mad at the mother okay <sighs> Like, I can feel the anguish in the heart. I feel... Uh, like, I, I can understand where his anger is coming from. It's like... It's an interesting concept on deception. It's kind of like you can be told that when, you, when you're good, you get a gold star. 
now when you're an adult and you're good, you get manipulated, you get, I mean, all kinds of crap happens to you and you wonder where, you know, what the point is of being good when it seems like being corrupt is actually the winner here in our society. I mean, that's kind of what this is like to me, okay? He was good. He always was good. And he's mad because goodness does not bring goodness. That's what he's what he's saying in a way. But but he's mad. I mean, he's ripped apart inside mad. He's so mad. <laughs> It's amazing how contained it is, like how controlled this anger is. Because I can feel if this were to unleash, it's like it would, it would burn the whole planet. <sighs> he can't, he's still not able to just talk to the mother. This is your heart chakra, okay? He's crying. He's saying, what is my my point? What is my... It's like, why do I exist? Why do I exist to be good? What is the point of being good? Oh, oh, the mother is just standing here very politely. It's like she's smiling. She's not Mother Mary. She's more like a Kuan Yin or a, she's got an Asian um, appearance to her. Very ornamental, very beautiful. They say she's not Asian either. It's almost like she doesn't represent anything on earth. That's a, that's an important thing to note, is that this the mother figure um, doesn't represent any version of uh, divine feminine that we're aware of here on Earth. Whether we're aware of it or not aware of it, it doesn't seem to exist here. And she looks human to me. But what she's emanating is, um, you're finally acknowledging me. There's so much anger in this boy. It's kind of a sludge in a way. It's like an electric shock sludge. And it's been pouring out around us. So we're in a cave setting, but we're kind of... Um, lifted up or raised up and this liquid sludge is starting to pool and raise 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 up higher um almost to where we're where this boy is um, sitting slash standing reacting slash composed and this figure is sort of levitating here and it's just like a shock it's like full of electric shock and it's like a goo it's kind of a clearish gray blue color. Uh, this is important. All right, this is like the dark and light sides of yourself coming out. It's like you put a cork in it. Because you forced yourself to be good. Like really, really good. It's interesting because when you force yourself to be good, you're not in balance with your dark and light sides. You're actually hurting yourself. <sighs> it's like uh, in the animal kingdom, if the tiger was always good, what does that mean? The tiger won't um, kill any animals, so it'll starve to death, but it'll be really good, right? Because it won't hurt anybody. Well, the tiger has to hurt things. That's the tiger's role. So you have to understand what is your role. Is your role to be good? It isn't, actually. Your role is to be all that you are. So 
you shut off a major part of your dynamic. I know it's, 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 what does that mean, right? You're supposed to hurt people. You're supposed to be bad. Have you ever needed to tell someone the truth and you knew the truth was going to hurt them? So you never told it to them because you just didn't want it to say it. You didn't want to hurt. You didn't want to break their heart. You didn't want to. It's a, something that's kind of a an example that might help to define this, okay? I, I can't explain this. I know it's like you need to hurt people. <laughs> that sounds so messed up, but it's more like um, because you're so good, um, you won't hurt people you won't say it, you won't, you would never do anything to, (sighs) your role is to say things that people don't want to hear. And then when they're hurt, that hurts you, right? Because you don't want to hurt anybody. So when you see that you're hurting people, by simply speaking the truth, speaking the truth, you're going to hurt people. People don't want to hear the truth, okay? People do not want to hear it. People say they want the truth. Then when they start to hear the truth, they freak out, all right? That's not your problem. That's something they need to work on. So you're the divine blessing that is here to speak the truth, and now they have to work on themselves. That doesn't make you bad or ugly. It doesn't make you wrong, okay? It's on this level, okay? So when I tell you you have to be bad... It's almost like um, it isn't bad at all. It's actually you have to be honest. You have to be true. You have to hurt people because you have to be honest and true. Um, You're not doing that. You're not ever going to do that. That's kind of what this is saying to me. So you, you think about this, okay? I will say this is very exhausting It's very, um, like a cork was put in it for a very long time. It's suffocating. Um, It suffocates me in my throat. Um, It's very damaging for your inner child. I mean, my heart is exhausted here. it's, it's, It's almost like you've been lifting a heavy weight for a really long time, and this message is asking you to set it down. You won't ever set it down because you will carry the burden. You won't. You don't want anybody to have to carry the burden of the truth. Um, you don't want people to have to hear it because you. It's almost like something in life has proven to you that it's better for you to say nothing. It's better for you to. What What is this? I say something. Um, I see the reaction. It hurts me. Therefore, it is bad. It's very chi- child, inner childlike. Okay. Um, I say, I say this. I see how it it hurts people. Um, I blame myself. I shut up. I mean, it's kind of like this. Okay. It's a learned behavior. I mean, it just goes to show what a a loving heart you have, but we have a distortion here. We have a major imbalance because you're going to have to hurt people in your life. The tiger will have to hurt animals in its life. It has to. If it if it started to have like this epiphany where it's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm hurting animals. I better stop. Now the tiger's going to die because it's not choosing to be itself. So something in you is dying inside by this behavior is really, really, really not um, healthy, okay? All right. Oh, my God. There's so much here. I mean, this is just the surface. This is just the surface. There's so much anger. Ah. <sighs> This mother figure is really extraordinary. She doesn't represent mother God per se. I'm still trying to understand, is she your higher self? They're not saying that nothing is echoing back other than no and no when it comes to Mother Mary or um, Kuan Yin. And then they say, no, it doesn't relate to earth. So that's all I can tell you about that. 
Um, but now we're facing row upon row upon row upon row upon row upon, and it just keeps echoing. The echo. Uh, this is, um, I don't know, some kind of war, but this is not a war that took place here on Earth. This is a very scary war. I don't know if you were able to feel scared. I don't know what these black, bo they're like black, um, they have no face on them. They're like robotic. <sighs> what are they? I'm just looking right now. It's very, very overwhelming on the heart. It's overwhelming the back of the head. I mean, I can hear it's very technological. I can hear like they just keep coming. And it just echoes row upon 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 row. It's all an echo, okay? It's all stuck in an echo. It makes you want to vomit. It makes you want to puke. It's really overwhelming on my throat, overwhelming on my heart. <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna say something. This may shock you. Is it possible that your soul I mean, your soul's like ultra dynamic, so you're gonna have many, 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 many parts of yourself. And this might not be the only you here on Earth, okay? There's yous all over the universe. The more you can expand your mind on how infinite you are, I mean, truly we are all a part of each other, is, is what we need to grow into an awareness of so we can live in a world of love. I love you, you love me. Is it, So you, you relate, you know about this, you, you're good. <laughs> you're super good. Okay. <sighs> that you were living, let's just say a, a part of your soul was living a very difficult experience somewhere else and needed an escape from that and then came here to be silent, to be just peaceful. I'm telling you that what that is representative of is something your soul is familiar with that was too much. And so you come to earth, <laughs> earth <laughs> to be peaceful. <laughs> You, you seem to have like an inner monk in you and you just have like a, it's like you understand peace, even amidst all, so much chaos, it's almost like, but you, you're not, you're not understanding the rules here exactly, is how you have to be hurtful. You would rather just be silent. You would rather just smile and watch people go through their life and let them, let life teach them, not you teach them. I will say whatever that is, the rose and rose and rose and rose is something big. And it's something you're, you, you, you're going to have to face. I don't know what it represents is something of your soul's dynamic, okay? And you put a major wall up about that. Because even right now, I can feel there's like a major wall up about that. You know what's good? What's really, really good? Because <laughs> we're working with goodness, right? Um... You're standing up as this boy and you're acknowledging the mother. And, um, man, you've come here with a lot of pain. <sighs> I mean, I don't know what to say. It's. But you are acknowledging the mother and it's it's like you need to work with this consciousness. It's I, I she's like um 
She's not particularly, she herself is a reflection of who you are becoming as a balanced reflection of this divine feminine essence, as balanced good and bad. Um, this mother will be honest with you. She's not going to sugarcoat things, okay? Just as you should not be sugarcoating things either. You too need to be honest. There's wisdom here with you. If you are a silent monk, you are maybe a... Maybe you represent something that is the great teacher in the silent monk that you represent, but it seems to me that you're, you need to speak in this life. This is all I can say. Thank you so much for exploring this session with me. I mean, your heart has a lot to say. And we've just, I don't even feel like we've skimmed the surface <laughs> in this session. But we have accessed some very powerful energies, okay? I just want to, I just want to wait for just another minute here. Because I feel like there's a riddle about happiness with you. And I feel a lot of sadness. And I feel like happiness is a riddle you're trying to solve here. I've never seen anybody see Earth as a place of comfort. But what you have inside you shows me Earth in a new way. And... It's neat, actually, that Earth is a place of comfort for you from where what you have seen. It's, I, I don't know, it's, I'm kind of like in awe, you know? It's hard to formulate words. <sighs> All right, thank you so much for this experience. Thank you for sharing. For those of you interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I also have two other YouTube channels, so you can check me out at my Abby Normal channel and Zodiac Energy Readings. And I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. Have a great day, everybody.